What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 69 of Onshape. What we're working on is I have this PVC keyboard. If you're interested in this design or want to see more of it, um, just shoot down the comment section, but I'm actually not going to talk about this keyboard design in total. Instead, what I'm gonna talk about is some key features I've done to help me streamline the process and not get really confused. So notice over here, I'm in the assembly, I have my keyboard built, and I have some casters on the bottom. But if you notice over here on the timeline, my keyboard is actually listed as a sub-assembly. We brought it in as one part, but even though it's made a bunch of different parts, so technically it's a sub-assembly. How do we do that? So I'm going to go to this part studio, and let's highlight everything we know is going to be a composite part or something that's in relation with each other and create a sub-assembly. So we're going to highlight it all, click composite part, and hit the green check mark. If we scroll all the way down, we can see we now have a composite parts list, which we can rename and call that keyboard. So when I go to my assembly now, so let's create a new assembly, insert, there is the parts we could pull in one by one. I'm actually going to deselect that, instead select the composite parts. And see so now you see it says keyboard part studio. I can now pull on my keyboard and it is one sub-assembly that cannot be changed in this assembly. I found that to be super helpful. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to fix that and then I'm going to find some casters. So here's the really cool part. I know casters exist. I could go buy some at Lowe's, Harbor Freight, Menards, wherever you want, Home Depot. So I don't want to have to waste my time modeling this if we can find a shortcut. Here's the shortcut. McMaster Car is a wonderful website. They're not sponsoring me by any chance, but here's the really cool part. When you go to McMaster Car, they have a list of all of their supplies you could purchase. And if it is something that could be 3D modeled, there is probably a downloadable 3D model file ready for you to use. So I'm gonna look up casters, which is a really fancy way of saying wheels. And you can pick whatever wheel you're kind of looking for. I'm just gonna pick this first one right here. And there's a list going on right here. All the different sizes, all the different types. If I look at these three wheel types, I don't want a rigid, I don't want a swivel, I want a swivel with a brake. So I'm gonna find swivel with a brake, and then look at what size do I want this to be on. And I think a three inch wheel, so let's go with this first one right here. Looks totally good to me. All I need to do now is click on this drop down window and download it as a step file. Now I've already done this, so you're gonna see, uh, oh, never mind, did pop up. I've already done this. Let's go back to our on shape, and let's import that. Let's import this file as a single part studio and click OK. You know what? Let's check this out. I think I just saw something cool. Let's check it out. Let's import that again. I deleted it. Create a composite part. That is cool. So now when it imports it, even though it is a sub assembly, right here, it is treated as a composite part. Even though it's made up of, of several different parts, it is created as one sub-assembly. That is cool. So let's go on over to our keyboard. Let's hit insert. Find our casters, which we just downloaded and imported. Hit the green check mark and now we can use them as we need to. So I'm gonna go ahead and put each one of these on the corner. So let's go here. Oh, that's not right. Let's exit on that, drag it on over, try this again. And there we go. That face doesn't look very good, so let's flip it. And let's do an offset. I see that X direction is pointing positive, is going up, so I know it's gonna be negative two yeah that looks good boom done 
Now we could pull this in four more times, or three more times to make four wheels. However, I like when we use different features to help speed up our process. And so since we have uh, one wheel where the spot's supposed to go, we can now do a direction for a linear pattern. So the first direction I'm gonna do is this direction right here. So we see a second part pop up, looks okay. Let's give it a distance, I think it's gonna be 24? No, 34 might be it. Close, there we go, 32. However, let's do a second direction. That second direction is gonna be along the keyboard body. That distance I think is 64, oh, really close. 63 inches, and there we go. So here's what I've done. Even though I have a assembly here that has multiple parts, notice in our timeline over here, it's really clean. It's not gunked up with all the different parts and the listings and the mates. Instead, it is used in a really streamlined process to help speed up our whole system. So here's what we got. We have two composite parts, which are technically considered sub-assemblies. We downloaded one from McMaster Car using those step files, and we only had to do one mate. Done. I don't know about you, but that can really speed up your whole process, especially if you're creating a, a multi-teamed project to where one person is doing this thing over here, one person is doing this thing over here. You can then have your individual components be composite parts when they get pulled into one main assembly it can make it a really, really streamlined process. Okay, like I said, guys, if you want this PVC pipe design, just shoot down in the comment section. I'd love to make it public, um, or if you guys want it. I'm gonna let you know I haven't tested it yet. So maybe wait a little while. We'll see if you get working. Keep an eye out for the YouTube short. If I get it going, I'm willing to bet I will make a YouTube short over this here soon. If these videos have been helpful and you at least learned something from me, that is awesome. Please consider liking and subscribing to this video. And then also give me a shout out of what you want to see next. You guys are awesome. Stay awesome. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.